Hi guys, it's Amara. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, today we are going to be talking about some things, and I do apologize, this will be a late upload for today. Please stay tuned till the very end of the video for some updates on things of my life. Okay. And today we are the title of this video. We are talking about my issues with the Sims 4. Okay. Um, number one, I bought this game in September 2014, which was almost four years ago. And in case you didn't know, I spent $60 on this game. Was it worth it? Hell no! Your damn mind is it worth it. Mm. See, I come prepared, bitches. I have notes. I'm actually going to be organized for a video for once. Okay. Number one pinpoint. Lack of content when released. This, of course, is referring to the fact when The Sims 4 came out, we had no toddlers, no swimming pools, no family trees. I'm sure there's other things that weren't in there that I cannot remember as of right now. But, um, oh, and ghosts. That's another. Also, in case any of you out there who are actually fans of The Sims 4, in case, in, in case you don't know, but let's face it, you probably already do. But the, for those out there who don't know, you can't make the ghost babies in The Sims 4. Which, I mean, what's the point of having ghosts if you can't have ghost babies? I mean, that's one of the main purposes ghosts have besides just being cool. So, yeah. I, in on my honest opinion, I feel like The Sims 4 should have been released in 2015. To me, personally, I feel like they spent so much of their time on, you know, how, oh, how the Sims have these emotions, which is all realistic and shit, whatever. One thing I do, um, I do like about The Sims 4, I mean, it's, there are realistic elements. Like when, a, like, like when female Sims in the game get pregnant, they take a pregnancy test. I really like that. With The Sims, it was just born with a lullaby. Next. Oh yes, cartoon-like Sims. When we got the first trailer for The Sims 4, I noticed how Sims looked um, a bit cartoony, to be honest. I don't know, I, I mean, they had five years to prepare for The Sims 5, I mean, for The Sims 4, and that's what they did with it. And again, I feel like this is another area where, again, they focus on the emotions of Sims instead of actually putting real time and real effort into the game. Now, just and just to let everyone know, this is my personal opinions. That's just my, my personal opinions, okay? I don't want anyone getting butt hurt because I'm trashing their game. But, I mean, there's a lot of Sims fans out there that believe the same way, so if you're one of them, thumbs up this video. So yeah, I mean, I don't really like the way The Sims look. Um, there's a lot of things I do like about them. Like the loading screens. That's one. That's like really the only thing with The Sims 3 I don't like. Is the loading screens are longer than my lifespan. So, I mean, yeah. Let's move on to other things I hate with The Sims 4. The loading screens are also a thing. Also, one thing about li I liked about The Sims 3... It was open fucking world. You know what's not open fucking world? That's right. The Sims 4. I swear, you have to go into a loading screen just to cross the fucking street. I mean, seriously. That shit is annoying as fuck. Like, literally, there's a loading screen for just about everywhere you go, unless you're going inside your own house. I mean, I'm not surprised they didn't put a loading screen just to go upstairs. We're moving on now. Next 
is expansion packs. The Sims 4 has been out for almost four years. You wonder how many expansion packs they've released? You guessed it right, four. We're supposed to get one this year if they, you know, keep up the pattern of at least releasing one in one year. Yeah, we were lucky last year. We actually got two. I think we got, yeah, we got cats and dogs and I think it was like City Living or something. I only own one expansion pack and that is Get to Work. Because, you know, I was actually, you know, trying to actually stay on top of my shit. Because when Sims 3 came out, I wasn't on top of my shit. I did not buy them all when they came out. I bought them all later. Because by the time I actually bought them, The Sims 4 had yet to come out. Like, the trailer was released, whatever, but it was still saying The Sims 3. And me, personally, I like The Sims 3 way, way better, in case you didn't know. Anyway, um, expansion packs. We have four. And then they try to make it up to us by, like, these game packs all the time. There's, like, a ton. I should have looked them up, but I'm not that bitch. So, um... Vampires. That's, like, the only game pack I actually bought. $20 of my money because vampires. I love vampires. And don't get me wrong, I like the detail. I like the hard work they put in to actually make vampires, you know, kind of interesting. I mean, I would definitely say, I would definitely classify them as a little bit more interesting than The Sims 3. However, the one, the good, the one thing I did like about The Sims 3 Vampires is when a Sim is turned, their eye color and skin color did change. And, and they, you know, went away with that. There is like a vampire skin tone you can use for your sims, but I mean like, it doesn't really feel real to me, because I mean, because vampire sims look completely like any other normal sims, which I always don't really like, I want, I like, I like that little subtle details that show that, oh, that's a vampire, you know, like, it's always pretty, like in The Sims 3, it was pretty obvious on, on a human sim, and a vampire sim, their skin, their eyes. I like. There's some people that did not like the skin and the eyes, the glowing eyes. I'm one of those people that loved it, especially with the bright colors. I always loved giving my sims like aqua eyes. That's my. It's my favorite color to use on sims in The Sims 3. Give them aqua eyes and then make them vampires. That way, the aqua eyes glow and it looks gorgeous. All right. My next is not really an issue with The Sims 4, but more like a potential for the future in terms of The Sims 5. Which are my hopes for The Sims 5, if we have one. I don't know, there's a lot of people out there, myself included, that just don't like The Sims 4. Um, I don't like the fact that I spent probably about $80, I actually make that $100, buying like Sims 4 things. And honestly, I do have The Sims 4 headset from SteelSeries. I also have the gaming mouse from the SteelSeries. And honestly, the only thing I'm actually missing is the mouse. And then my collection of the three will be complete. That may be the only three items for The Sims 4 I will actually genuinely like. But, we're not talking about The Sims 4 right now. My, my hopes for The Sims 5, if, again, if we have one, are as follows. Honestly, I would love for them to take the graphics of The Sims 3 and some of The Sims 4, kind of merge them together. So everything looks better. Um, I do like I do like in The Sims 4 they brought in gender identity, to a certain extent at least. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I actually really enjoyed that. I, like, really, really enjoyed that. Um, but, yeah. And, obviously, I enjoy it because I'm trans. Hello. Um, also, Supernaturals. I want Supernaturals to look really, really better. Like, with The Sims 3, we got in a Supernatural expansion pack that gave us, like, five... Because vampires were, vampires were upgraded in Supernaturals and they were in Late Night, so we essentially got like five new Supernaturals in The Sims 3. 
so far, <laughs> in The Sims 4, we only have really one supernatural life state. I don't really count aliens as a life state. Yeah, they can. They kind of have some supernatural ability, but I feel I still view them because they're not really a supernatural life state. They're more like on the same. On, they, they, their genetics are very close to a normal human sim. In that sense, um, I mean, yes, you could even even okay, but e even even if we could count them as a supernatural life state. That's still only two, two life states, and the, and the Sims 4 has been out for almost four years. Like with the Sims 3, <clears throat> the Sims 3, we had every expansion pack that they released had a different life state in it. That's also why there were so many different life states in the Sims 3. I mean, there's five main ones, but there's also other ones like robots, servos, Bigfoot, mummies, along with, you know, vampires, werewolves, witches, fairies, genies, and of course ghosts. <clears throat> now, so that is my hopes for The Sims 5, that it just gets better if we have one. Because my my theory is, if they do not get better with The Sims 5, I have a feeling that if we do get a Sims 5, it'll be the last one. Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know who, I don't know who is doing it, but I still, I honestly believe that we, that they should have waited until 2015. Like, September of 2015. To release The Sims 4 because I feel like that way the game would have been um, you know complete I feel like I feel like we got they released a game that was only half done I mean yeah they gave us like free free updates that got where we got toddlers and pools and the family tree back and and pools and it just that's just not right Anyways, <clears throat> thank you so much for reaching the end of this lovely discussion about my issues with The Sims 4. Now, thank you. Now, for those of you who have stick around to this 13 minutes of this video so far, my update. On the 21st, I am moving to Minnesota. On, on the 21st, which is a Monday, I also normally upload a video. Obviously, I will not be able to upload a video on the 21st, so that week's video will actually be uploaded on, it will actually be uploaded on the 20th, which is the day before. Because if I don't, if, because if I don't upload it the day before, you guys just wouldn't get a video that week. And, um, that's just, you know, not really fair. So, yeah. All right, my video for I'm my friend Jessica is staying with me for a time, but when she gets back, I'm going to see if I can record a Jessica Allen TV, you know, episode. Because you know things have gone down in her life, and what better way than to share them on you know the internet. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you guys next Monday with my next video. And to everyone out there, please remember to be true to, you, be true to who you are and never apologize. I will see you guys next Monday with my next video. Bye, everybody.